Hey, well, welcome back to the channel. The M60A3 patent tank once a Cold War giant is seeing a quiet resurgence in 2026, long after it rolled off US production lines in the 1980s, with modern warfare evolving at breakneck speed. You might be wondering, what place does a tank like the M60A3 have in a world dominated by drones, AI targeting systems, and sixth generation fighters? The answer lies in one word dash adaptation. Asterisk originally fielded as an upgrade to the earlier M60 and M60A1 variants. The M60A3 entered service in 1980 with the US Army. It retained the same 105mm M68 refilled gun that had proven itself in earlier versions, but the real advancements were in fire control and electronics. Infrared thermal imaging, ballistic computers, and a laser rangefinder gave the M60A3 a serious edge for its time. And while the M1 Abrams quickly took over the frontline role, the M60A3 remained a vital part of US and Allied inventories into the early 2000s. Now, in 2026, the M60A3 refuses to be a relic, thanks to a wave of modernization programs led by countries like Egypt, Turkey, and Taiwan. This 60-ton steel beast is getting a new lease on life. Think upgraded diesel engines for better power-to-weight ratio, digital fire control systems, modular armor kits, and even remote-controlled weapon stations. Some variants now field active protection systems that can intercept or PGs and ATG is mid-air something unthinkable when the tank was first conceived. Asterisk, these upgrades aren't just cosmetic. On the modern battlefield, mobility and firepower still matter, but so does cost. Nations facing regional conflicts or border threats can't always afford to field an army of brand new, high-maintenance main battle tanks like the Leopard 2A7 or M1A to SEP3. That's where the M60A3 comes in. It's tough, proven, and with the right upgrades, surprisingly lethal. A modernized M60A3 can outmatch many legacy tanks and even hold its own against more recent designs under the right conditions. Asterisk in 2026, we're seeing this play out in real time. In Northern Africa, Egypt is deploying upgraded M60A3S fitted with reactive armor and modern sensors as part of its border patrol and counterinsurgency operations. Taiwan has kept its M60 fleet running strong now equipped with advanced optics and satellite link targeting systems, preparing them as a backup layer in the island's layered defense strategy. Even smaller NATO countries are using M60 chassis for engineering vehicles, mobile bridge layers, and urban combat support. Asterisk, the tank's legacy goes beyond combat. The M60A3 has become a favorite platform for military engineers and defense contractors looking to test modular systems. Want to try a new turret-mounted drone launcher? Use an M60A3, trying to simulate Battlefield A, I in a tank unit. Mount the processors in an M60 hull. It's a real-world testbed that's cheap, reliable, and safe to work with. Asterisk, there's also the nostalgia factor. Military museums, reenactment events, and private collectors have embraced the M60A3. In 2026, some are being digitally mapped for. Use in VR combat simulators, preserving their feel and mechanical behavior for future generations. Others are used in training exercises as opera-posing force vehicles, simulating enemy armoring drills with current generation tanks. Asterisk no, the M60A3 patent isn't going to be the spearhead of the next superpower invasion. It's not invisible. To radar, it doesn't fly, and it's certainly not AI-driven. But it's resilient, it's upgradable, and most of all, it's still relevant. In a world that often discards the old too quickly, the M60A3 is proof that with enough vision and a few bolts and circuits you can take the past and make it work for the future. Asterisk. So next time you see one of these tanks lumbering through the desert or rolling onto a rail car, remember, you're not looking at a fossil, you're looking at a survivor.